you so much for stopping here and choosing me subscribing liking commenting and sharing the content that i have been making for you guys thus far you are appreciated here as far as self-initiation is concerned that's what i'm here to clarify okay um so i'll speak in terms of my knowledge as to how far i know because i don't want to speak on behalf of others or how they see things so in a nutshell i'm only responsible for what i say how you understand it it has nothing to do with me so let's dive in so as far as self-initiation we have to understand what is self-initiation self-initiation is you being able to initiate yourself teach yourself as far as your spiritual journey is concerned so who can actually go through self-initiation take it in terms of any other school there is okay so there are levels when it comes to school so there are primary middle and also the high school and, and, and tertiary so tertiary is a state where you get to become your own teacher so there is no um, teacher there only tutors okay so in the state this means already you are disciplined because you have gone through the primary teachings and all that so you understand there is a sense of knowledge that comes with you already okay so there is something that you know as far as learning is concerned it's not like you are a newbie or you know nothing at all so hence you do qualify you do have the ability to be your own teacher to teach yourself because already you know what discipline is okay so mainly when you are self-initiating this means you have reached a state of a tertiary when it comes to your own a spiritual life so you are elevating you are growing spiritually so now you have a clear understanding when it comes to you and your spirit guides so you you also have a clear understanding as to how spirit communicate so you won't have any problems or any troubles there as to you understanding how spirit communicate or what is it that they are trying to say so you are uh, somehow um, reach that state of um, you know understanding when it comes to you understanding the spiritual language hence that's what um, self-initiation is so you, you 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 understand the language of the spirits so you will catch up fast okay that's what we call self-initiation so some of the things that they will definitely want from you are some of the things that already you have undergone you know at the primary okay so remember that when you go through initiation there you feed your own spirit guides as in banguni bangunyana bandau bandachana baruzi all, all all of these things okay you feed them and for your own spirit guides right you have to feed them mechari as in like medicines that will make them calm down and have a, that sense of connection with you okay so meaning going but in bajile okay backhoot so there is no sense of uh misunderstanding more okay because already you have appeased them you have done already what needs to be done by you so you are at a stage where you are communicating with the spirits that are somehow on a high level okay guys so this is exactly what i wanted to emphasize because remember that body signs when it comes to spirits when they communicate they can be the same say for instance you 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 are suffering that sense of uh, guys okay you will have those dreams you will suffer body wise and everything else because this is new to you and you want to self-initiate whereas the pains that you are feeling those are the pains of your own spirit guides as in you get that these people they want to be healed through initiation through them and then you fall okay and then also no fall then you get to that stage 
Leona, when you get to that stage, you will experience those body signs. Hence, that's why I'm saying regular meditate. I refer to those who already have undergone initiation. If you meditate and there is no sense of change, this means you are not necessarily in that state of you being able to self-initiate. There is a sense of you needing to go through initiation so that you heal your own spirit guides before you can actually put yourself in that situation or position of you healing yourself by yourself without the initiator. I don't know if I'm making sense to somebody here, okay? So this is what I've picked up lately. <laughs> because most people it seems like they just want to dodge the bullet so i won't necessarily um promote this thing or self-initiation it's something that exists without you going through initiation first i won't say that because i i don't know i haven't gone through that i went through initiation not just one okay and all of these things that I, I'm, I'm talking about, those are the things that happened after, after I have been initiated, after few years of me as a healer, okay? Already I know, already I know everything, including initiating itself, okay? So being in the stage where uh, i have to go through the self-initiation thing it was easy because already i understand how spirit communicates and everything else so those are two different things that that's one thing that i actually want to emphasize because i realize that it's more like people want to self-initiate themselves at an early age at an early stage you get what i'm saying yeah we understand that things are changing times are changing for sure and um as much as there are homeschooling you know even if uh, we do have a child well, or grade R or grade grade one grade two and then one no dira homeschooling so this child has someone who's helping of which is the parent right so we don't have to maybe try and change the narrative or anything like that based on the generation that we are in or whatever uh, i don't know i stand out to be corrected there but then in the midst of it guys let me tell you one thing that's one and if within you within you they are not healed yet then you will mistaken them as in like, oh, I have this Nsunza spirit that, okay, then I can self-initiate. No. No. There are no shortcuts. This is you. We pull it out of in a way. Because we are not they are far from you. And you can't even handle them. You, 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 you get what I'm saying, guys. So, that's exactly what I wanted to, to emphasize here. That before you put yourself in that position of wanting to self-initiate understand first what is self-initiation and who should actually go through self-initiation it's someone who already have a clear understanding when it comes to sp sp spirits so to speak someone who already know how spirit communicates someone who i guess i do make sense guys okay so yeah i know that we beg to differ well maybe there are those who 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 maybe they 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 just went right straight to uh self-initiation and it worked for them because yeah we are different like that so yeah i'm speaking in terms of what i know my experience as an individual okay i went through initiation before i can experience the so-called self-initiation okay so that's a little that i wanted to share with you guys i really hope it does help some of you here do subscribe to the channel give it a thumbs up from me to you guys i'm sending you love and light you take care bye